Today I'd like to do a product review of my EDC pen. This is the Zebra F701 stainless steel ballpoint retractable pen. It comes in black ink. It has a print size of 0.7 millimeters, so it's a very fine point to it. It costs around $9 on Amazon.com, so it's a very affordable pen and it's a good quality for the money that you're going to spend. It has a very nice grip to it. It's a knurled steel. It has a quiet plunger for silent clicking has a real nice pocket clip, a real classy looking design to it, and it's refillable using the Zebra F refills. So what I'm going to do for this review is just give you an overall look and feel of it, talk about the barrel, talk about the ink, and some of the other features. So I hope you enjoy this product review. I really enjoy the overall look and feel of this pen. It just kind of screams a professional quality pen that you might have spent a lot of money on when in fact you spent less than $10. It has a very nice sturdy frame to it. It's very durable and sleek, and it just feels really great in your hand. It feels so natural. It feels like you're writing with an old school number two pencil when you're a kid, just like it's designed to just mold right into your hand. It's made of a heavy duty, all stainless steel barrel. So it's, it's really built like a tank. If you wanted to, you could aerate your lawn with this thing. You could chip ice off of a block of ice. I mean, this thing's not gonna break on you. And it's designed to prevent any kind of corrosion. I really like the heavy duty solid feel that it has because it's stainless steel. And it just kind of has the perfect weight of a pen. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. Uh, so yeah, I, the stainless steel quality of this pen is extremely great. I really like it. In my opinion, the best thing about this pen is this knurled steel textured grip to it. If you've never felt the knurled steel before, it kind of feels, it kind of looks and feels like a sewing thimble. That's the best way I could describe it. I really don't like having any kind of a gel grip that's a little oversized. It kind of just feels a little clunky in my hand and it's also a little, dif little difficult to get in and out of your pockets or in your planners. And that rubber would also give out over weight. So this is going to, you're going to have a nice textured grip that's never going to give up on this pen. It's always going to be that same feel to it. And it just feels extremely nice. You, you, you could ride in the rain if you wanted to with this thing. It's never going to slip out of your hand and it just feels like a very natural grip to it. The clicking action on this pen is very smooth. It's very quiet. They advertise it as being a silent clicking. I don't say, I want to say it's totally silent. But it's pretty quiet, I think. It has a quiet plunger mechanism that silences any clicking when you retract. And it's just a very solid, uh, smooth feel to it when you're clicking it. So it's very good. As I said earlier, it has a 0.7 millimeter fine point, has black ink to it. I really like the ink. It's, it just flows very readily when it first touches, the tip first touches the paper. And it doesn't smudge like a lot of gel pens do. It has a very clean tip to it. So you're never, you're never going to have to wipe off the sides of this or anything like that. And then also there's going to be no skipping when you're writing with it. So you're not going to have to connect the dots later as you're writing with a lot of you know, cheaper pens do. just write some things. So I, I really like the ink of it. It's, it, it's, it's not too, uh, it's not very black, I would say, uh, but any time that I've had a very black ink, it also smears too. So I would definitely compromise with this. So. The Zebra F701 has a very nice pocket clip as well. It's a very sturdy metal pocket clip. It's not going to break on you at all. It's, it's very flat as well. There's no sharp edges to it. Here's a, just an example. This is my 4.7's Quark Mini AA Squared, which the pocket clip, as you see, has a little protruding area here that helps to get in and out of the pocket a little easier, but also this could possibly scratch if you're walking by your car, for example. You're not going to have that problem with this pen. It's very smooth. It's not going to scratch any kind of uh, clothing, for example, or maybe a metal surface. So the pocket clip is a very nice feature on this. When I was initially researching this pen, I did some searches on Google and looked at various forums and I realized that people are really into their pens and a lot of people have done modifications to, in particular to this Zebra F701 pen. One of the mods that a lot of people like doing is putting a Fisher Space Pen refill into it. Some of the things they do is they change the clicking, they, they cut down the spring a little bit as well. I'm not that into pens, so I'm not going to really do any of that. But if you are interested in putting a Fisher Space Pen refill into it, which most people on YouTube and most people in general just kind of agree is a really great refill to put into pens, and a lot of people like modding their pens to have that, I would highly recommend, you could go to different forums and stuff, but make sure you go check out Exacto's video that he has. I'll put an annotation up here in the top left hand corner, he has a great video on how to do that specifically for this pen. And he also has a really great channel as well, so make sure you go and pay him a visit if you haven't already. So here's, here's the, the Zebra F 0.7 millimeters refill. Just kind of goes in there like that. 
And this is just, you know, as you get from the factory, so I've done no mods to it or anything like that. So if you guys are interested, it does fit the Fisher Space Pen Refill. Make sure you go check out Exacto's page uh, so he could walk you through on how to do that. Let's quickly go over the pros and cons of the Zebra F701 pen. Now again, the best thing about this pen is by far the cost. It's at $9, it's very affordable, and you'll get it at a fraction of the cost of what you would have to pay for similar stainless steel tactical pens on other sites. Let's take a quick look at that. All right, I'm on Countycom's website. We all like shopping at Countycom, and they have some EDC pens listed here, and these are more of the tactical pens. And let's just take a look at the first one. So it's a stainless steel Embassy Pen Rev 2. It looks like it all, it's also made out of stainless steel. It, it kind of has a knurled grip to it as well. And this one's going to run you right at $55. So $55 bucks versus the 9 bucks which you use pay for the Zebra pen. And it's they're pretty uh, similar pens as far as what the materials that they're made out of, uh, the texturized grip on it, and you could also put a Fisher Space Pen refill on this. So this just gives you another option. If you don't want to spend $55 bucks on a tactical pen, uh, you could definitely go with the Zebra. Again, some of the other pros on this pen are the very smooth writing that it gets. It's virtually unbreakable and you could uh, refill it with a variety of different methods and you could do a lot of different mods on it as well. Alright, on to the cons of this pen. There's not a lot of bad things that you could say about it, especially at $9. If anything, I might say that the ink isn't really that black. It's, it's definitely black, but it, when you compare it to other pens, especially El Cheapo models, I just think that they're a little bit darker, although this would also smear as, as well if I'm writing like that. And you're not going to see that out of the Zebra F701 pen, so I'll, I'll definitely compromise for that. Uh, other than that, there's n n nothing else I could really say, maybe other than the fact that you might lose it. So. <laughs> So in summary, this is a fantastic pen. It's an amazing quality pen for the price. And uh, because it is so affordable, I, I think it's probably one of the best pens that you could get for under $10. And I I'd like to see another pen that could compete with this and all the different features that it has. I hope, guys I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys later. Again, this is the Zebra F701. Talk to you guys later.